what if you could have LEDs that light up without any wires or connections with batteries? Sounds magical, right? Hi everyone, welcome back to DIY. These are wireless LEDs. After watching this video, you will be able to make one yourself. So let's start from the very beginning. The first thing you need is insulated copper wire. This is 1 mm or 18 AWG thickness copper wire. You can buy it from outside. 2.5 meters of copper wire will be enough. For making the coil, you can use any round shape object. Here I have found this tape roll in my room. So I will use it. You can use any circular object having a diameter of 8 to 10 centimeter. Start rolling the copper wire three times. Just before completing the fourth turn, twist the wire like this. After that, continue rolling till the eighth turn. Tie the coil with both ends of the wire to keep the coil arranged. You can use some tape to keep the coil more arranged. Now I am using a sandpaper to remove insulation from both ends of the coil. Also we need to remove insulation from the center loop of the coil. After finishing removing insulation, take three wires. Connect wires with two ends and the center loop. I'm soldering them to make the connection stronger. The next component I need is a transistor. Here I will use an IRFZ44N MOSFET. This is one of the most popular MOSFET you can easily find in the market. This MOSFET is best known for its use in a high drain current circuit. It works well for switching circuits. The IRFZ44N MOSFET transistor consists of three pins, gate, drain and source. Let's connect the gate with one terminal of the coil. Then connect the drain with another terminal of the coil. Let's solder this. After soldering the gate and drain terminals with the two ends of the coil, take a piece of oil and connect it with the source terminal of the MOSFET. You can see I used a black wire. Now I have one wire from the center loop of the coil and another from the source terminal of the MOSFET. I'll use a female DC jack connector and connect the red wire of the jack with the center loop of the coil and the black wire with the source terminal of the MOSFET. With that, the primary coil becomes ready. Let's move on the second part. This is an inductor. Inside this inductor, you can see the copper coil. 
and this is an LED. Let's connect the two legs of LED with two end of the inductor. LED anode cathode polarity is not important for this. You can connect however you want. To make it stronger, I am soldering it. After soldering, trim the excess wires. This inductor was 470 microhenry. You can use any inductor between 400 microhenry to 600 microhenry. This is just one wireless LED. I will make some more by the same way. Before that, let's do an experiment. I have this 0.1 mm copper wire. I want to see if it is possible to make the wireless LED without buying an inductor or not. I made the coil on the body of the LED and connected both ends of the coil to the LED anode and cathode terminals. After making this, I have also made some other different colored wireless LED. Now let's test. Let's take a 12 volt DC adapter power supply to turn on the first coil we have made. Here our first coil forms the primary of the power charger. Then each individual LED has a smaller coil on the back. When two coil couples, power is transferred from the coil to the LED and it lights up. You can also have them in different orientations. Although you will get the best power transfer when the two coils line up. You can also have the LEDs slightly outside the main ring but they won't light up as bright as if you were right in the center. This one was the experimental piece. Let's see what's happened. Yes, it's glowing too, you can see. I have hidden the primary coil inside a brown cardboard box. Now the upper surface of the box will do the magic. Thanks for watching. Try making your own wireless LEDs and share your experience in the comments.